Hello, and welcome to Seattle. So we're headed to Seattle Goldtimit, pick up Goldtimit on Tuesdays. It's a citywide tradition, um, playing the top, easily top two, my personally top two disc sports, uh, the other being Beach Ultimate. Ultimate still great, but uh, sort of being slotted deeply into number three when it comes to disc sports for me. But anyway, we're heading to Seattle Pick a Goalty over at the Seattle University Turf Fields, and we'll see what it's like out there. Usually numbers are pretty high, and usually we have anywhere from two to three kits going on a uh, Tuesday afternoon, and today is pretty mild conditions, nice weather, not much wind, so we'll see you when we get there. Some of the sights and sounds of walking down the hill to Seattle University. Looks great. This is the Central District neighborhood of Seattle, which is a bit um, to the east of the city. You can see, or downtown rather, you can see downtown off in the distance there. Some nice graffiti. I'm a fan. Sometimes you just got to give life the middle finger. So something uh, Seattle's known for actually is, well, to some, is stickers. Like people tag things with stickers. What's that one at the top? I can't really make that one out. But uh, tagging things with stickers is pretty common in Seattle. So you'll find a bunch of uh, sticker artists that are usually, are, are consistently putting up their sort of brand of street art stickers on like telephone poles and buildings and things. There used to be a street artist in Seattle called Shitbarf, who uh, my friend D-Bone was a really big fan of. Uh, so you'd find stickers around the city that said shit barf on it or they had uh, variations on that like uh, to shit to barf or to barf to shit for that matter and it's just a super jarring and uh, hilarious tagger that uh, was prevalent in Seattle and actually so my friend D-Bone who sounds like this like character and he is uh, he and I decided to make a short documentary about shit barf and we called it exit through the shit barf so we started filming we didn't get we didn't finish it uh, which is sad because it was gonna be a really cool story of D-Bone trying to find shit barf and just understand why he's doing what he's doing why he's writing shit barf on things uh, but we did put a trailer together so uh, if you're interested I'll uh, put a link up for the shit barf trailer, the exit through the shit barf. Some sweet graffiti. Some more stickers. Uh, like oh yeah, Jazz Mom in the middle there. She's she's a pretty big deal. It's been around for a while. Frisbee, I, I have not heard of. I haven't heard of most of these people except for Jazz Mom. I have to check in with Devon to see what he knew. Oh Blink, Think Blink is another big name in Seattle. Uh, street art tagging. All right, so we've arrived at Seattle U at Logan Field, and the kit is not out here yet, the Gulti kit. So we're just playing some mini out on the field, but hopefully the kit's gonna arrive soon and we'll be able to show a little bit more. We'll take a look over at the, the mini going on. Just some mini, so we'll go, we'll approach, try not to startle anybody with this uh, goofy looking setup here, but, that's like, this is, I'm actually here pretty early. Um, so that's probably why the kid isn't here, but there's already 
a line just ready, warming up with some mini. Yeah, look at that. I don't know if I can zoom. Oh my God. That's awesome. So Goldie's been set up and it's being played. The lines are still low right now, so we're gonna get in line pretty soon and start playing. So Merle's, this is uh, your first time playing Seattle Goldtimate. How do you feel about this? <laughs> uh, How do you feel about being on camera? It'll be fine. Yeah. I'm fine with it. What do you see right now? Like, is this exciting for you? Like, are you just, can you not wait? Yeah, high level pickup makes me excited. Yeah. We don't, uh, we don't get that much high level pickup in the cities. Well, people play Goldtimate and take it very seriously here. Yeah. As you're about to see. Let's go. <laughs> I might have. <laughs> so if you don't know the rules of ultimate you it's four and four you have to throw it to your teammate through that hoop and catch it in the goal area marked up by the cones um, it's a five stall after a score or after a turnover you have to clear it past the far line so it's kind of like half-court basketball in that way. And it's a lot of fun uh, here at Seattle University Fields, Turf Fields. Every Tuesday we do some gold tea out here until the zombie apocalypse. And then it's a meeting place to let people know that uh, hey, there's still humans out here. That's what it becomes later on. But we got one big line here, two games going. Usually like this is actually a pretty low amount of people, but got a good game going today. We got a back angle shot here. Let's see. Ooh, almost a go blocked. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna go play now. Instead of being the awkward guy with the camera watching people. Ooh, nice block, Tony. <laughs> okay, where's the guy? So, Goldie's about wrapped up group today. Tony, this is our post-game interview. Coach Tony, what do you what do you think about the game today? What uh what can the people learn from you, the sensei? Well a good game. A team game. Team sport. <laughs> uh, we everyone left it out there, everyone did their job. Yeah. Uh, 110 percent uh, listen to coach and uh, you know team win. Yeah. I mean you said everything so thank you. <laughs> Gavin, let's uh What's uh what's going on? How was the game today? It was fun. Yeah. Low key. Yeah. Chill. What's next for you? You know, what's your next adventure? Amsterdam in three weeks. Whoa. Wind will wind up. That's gonna be cool. Have you been there before? No. It's fun. You're gonna like it. I think. I hope so. I hope so too. I hope we do well. Yeah. Alright, well, this has been Goldtimate here at Seattle University Fields. <laughs> and uh, signing off. Thanks for thanks for checking in, folks. Stay classy.